What is going on everybody? Estas here. Welcome back to another video. So the markets are absolutely on fire today, ladies and gentlemen. They're doing very well. VIX is down. Metals are down. We're green all across the board. We got to break down the markets in this video. And you guys know the deal. We got to break down some stocks and different chart setups that I like. So sit back, relax, take a sip of your coffee and make sure to get your free money from Moomoo. You get one free share of NEO guaranteed and up to five other stocks, each of which could be valued up to 3,500 bucks. All you have to do is use my link down below deposit at least 100 bucks and boom you get your free money that's it and with that being said let's get right into the video so right now we have about 20 minutes left in the session we're green all across the board russell's up 0.7 s&p's up one percent nasdaq's up about 1.8 and we have the dow up half a percent vix down six percent and gold is down about 1.2, silver's down 2.3%. What we're noticing is a clear-cut breakout. We covered this in the previous video, right? Spy is currently breaking out of these moving averages on the four-hour chart. We're now taking out the highs from the end of February early March. You all can see that right here. End of February, early March, we were at about 437 to about 440. Now we're trading at 445 and it seems like we're getting a blow off top rally right now. If you guys take a look on the intraday chart, this thing completely took off at about 2 p.m. Now it's 340. It went from about 441 to 445 almost. So it rallied about 0.8% in just an hour, hour and a half. Now we are pulling back a little bit in the short term, but overall the bulls are clearly still dominating on this intraday chart and i would not be surprised if the markets rip these next 10 20 minutes into the market close how many times have we seen that where the markets end up taking off 10 minutes before close we've seen this happen time and time again right so spies looking fantastic right now we're breaking level after level but overall in the grand scheme of things we still got some tough spots coming up 447 and 458 bucks those two levels are big resistances coming up here which i'm assuming we're going to be testing here in the short term as long as the bulls continue uh you know dominating which they are as of now in the very short term so everything i pretty much uh that i pretty much just said applies to triple q triple q is breaking out as well um it's also starting to break out of the highs from the end of february early march being around 349 350 now we're trading above 351 so we are starting to break out we're also getting a huge run all throughout today I mean, the uh, ETF's up 2% right now. Pretty much, guys, this thing's rallied from about 341 to 351 intraday. It's up actually almost 3% intraday because it was gapping down in the morning. So this is running like crazy. Uh, we're breaking out of 350, which is great. And if I go back to that four-hour chart, if we take out 355, this could be smooth sailing to the mid-360s. Heck, maybe 370s if we really start getting a push in the overall markets and we get a more sustained type of relief rally which it's too early to tell if this is going to be a sustained rally but it's it's shortly looking like it could be it could be keyword is could we have to see you know what happens next week anything could happen over the weekend that's why i'm not too excited guys because all of these gains could be lost over the weekend especially if we get some negative news from russia ukraine or some other negative catalyst these gains could be lost that's what you guys have to understand so let me know your thoughts in the comments hit the like button subscribe if you haven't done so already and let's dive into some stocks now so stock number one is marriott ticker symbol m-a-r and did you guys uh, did you guys see the news? I don't know why, but for some reason, when I said Marriott, I thought of MGM. On a side tangent here, did you guys see the news that Amazon's buying MGM for, what was it, $8 billion or something like that? In other words, a drop in the bucket. I just figured uh, I'd mention that. I think it was, what was it, $8 billion? 8.4, Amazon completes $8.45 billion MGM deal competition concerns weren't a problem yada 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 we're not going to get into that in this video but for some reason again when i thought of marriott i thought of mgm uh anyway going back to uh marriott which in this case is ticker symbol m-a-r this is up one percent today it's breaking out even higher in the overall uh, uptrend that we've been seeing these past couple of days well i guess it's almost two weeks at this point this bottomed at about 147 now we're trading just a little bit above 170 and we're above the move 
moving averages, which is great. I think we took these moving averages out earlier this week. We started off the week at about 160. Now we're obviously in the mid 170s. Stocks up again, like I said, up over 1% on the day. So watch out for Marriott to continue this uh, this move, you know, this uptrend. And by the looks of it, based on this four hour chart, if this shoots up to the top of the channel, which it's done every time in the past couple of months, you know, that we've, uh, you know, seen a break from the previous high, which we're about to go test the previous high potentially being 184 roughly, you know, this could, this could potentially go to 190, maybe 185, 190. So uh, yeah, that's the top of the channel. Watch out for Marriott. I like this one moving forward. The signs, all, all signs are showing more upside, right? Or at least what I'm seeing here. And uh, Tesla's another one. TSLA. Tesla today is up three and a half percent. We have about 15 minutes left in the session. And what we're noticing here and what I want to point out to you guys is we're still in a downtrending channel on the four hour chart. If I zoom in, you guys can see the channel started back in the beginning of November. Now we're what in the middle of March, four months later, four and a half months later, we're still on this channel. So that's number one. Number two, we are starting to gain momentum above the moving averages. In fact, today alone, we are above the uh, 180 moving average for the first time since when was that the middle of what, what January? So two months, I mean, we're breaking the moving average, which is great. But going back to point number one, we got to break the channel now, which I believe could happen. Um, and, and it's going to need to break about what, uh, what was that? 920, 925 for it to actually start breaking out of there. So I'm going to set my alert for 930 bucks. Mark is at or above perfect. If we start breaking out of that range and now that I'm looking at it, 930 was resistance end of January, all throughout the middle of February and actually 940 as well. So let me move that alert. Let me budge it up a little bit. I want it to break 940 roughly. And if we do start breaking that point, that is where we could start taking off. Seriously, 1,000, 1,050. That's where Tesla could start going. So the next stock we have here is none other than Google, ticker symbol G-O-O-G. -O -O this one's up 1.3% on the day. And like Tesla, it's starting to break out of the 180 moving average, which it hasn't done that since the last earnings report, which you guys remember, they announced a 20 for one split and they reported pretty great numbers, which I forget exactly what the numbers were off the top of my head, but they were pretty good numbers. Take my word for it. And the uh, stock clearly was shooting up because of that. And again, the 20 for one split. So we haven't broken out of the moving averages since that point, but now we are again, the stock's up 1.3% and we're actually taking out the highs from when was this the um, end of February, early March. So this is a very good sign. Now we just have to break this trend line that I've drawn here and maybe I can make it look a little bit prettier guys for you all. There we go. That looks a little bit better, but overall, you know what I mean? It's it's, it's got to, well, well, based on the way I just drew it, it actually already is breaking out um, of the trend line as well. So I guess overall, the point is if we break 2750 roughly, I would say that that's a good, a big resistance coming up. This might take off another 100, 150 bucks a share. And you guys know I'm fully loaded on Google. It's my favorite stock for the long term. I'm not married to the stock. You know, I, I'd be willing to cut ties, cut, uh, cut ties with it. Uh, I'm not going to be, you know, one of these guys that holds the stock forever, no matter what, you know, even if it's a failing business, you know, the second I see Google, you know, turning um, into a failing business, at least from my perspective, which I don't see that happening anytime soon. But if, if it were to come to that with any of my stocks, um, I'd be willing to cut out of them cut the loss or, uh, you know, take gains and, and move the money somewhere else. And that's what you guys have to realize. Just because I say Google's my favorite stock doesn't mean I'm not willing to sell it if it gets ridiculously overvalued um, or, or the business changes, right? And, and we're not overvalued by any stretch of the imagination, in my opinion. In fact, I was buying Google after the split news came out on this dip, and I probably will buy more Google. So we're breaking out. I'm liking it. If this, again, takes out 27.50, we might see a nice move even higher from there. SoFi, even though it's well within the downtrend, guys, not breaking out and by any stretch of the imagination. It's not breaking out. But with that being said, guys, it is up 10.5% right now as the markets are about to close in 10 minutes. And uh, it is breaking out of the 50 moving average, even though, again, it's still well within the downtrend under the main 180 moving average. So SoFi is, you know, you got to realize some of these stocks, when the markets rip back up in terms of the overall indexes, S&P down, NASDAQ, when the markets in general are moving up, the beaten down small caps are always going, I don't want to say always because 
it's not true. It doesn't always happen. But for the most part, the small cap beaten down high growth stocks are the ones that recover the most. I mean, look at some of these. SoFi went from 774 just a couple of days ago, and now it's knocking on the door, uh, knocking on $10 a share pretty much. I mean, that's insane. You guys have to realize that that's a 30% move. What is it? From 774 to 998, it went up 28%, almost 30%, when the S&P 500 in the same time period went up about, let's see here, 5 6%. You know, I calculated it earlier. I think it was around 5 6%. So a lot of you, actually more like 7%. But a lot of you guys know that already, but if you didn't know, the small high growth companies, they rip off the lows if the indexes see any sort of rally for the most part. We could we could talk about countless, countless of stocks, you know, uh, DraftKings. DraftKings is up. Let's see here a lot. I know it because I, I own the stock 1450 uh, or rather 1497 to 1988. It's up 32 um, percent. What are some other ones here? Even some stocks that you, you wouldn't think are small cap. Um, you know, Square, this one's up 50%. I mean, I can't even say that with a serious face, but 50% in the past couple of days, which is insane. So you guys get the point. The high growth stocks, smaller cap in nature, even mid cap, large cap, higher growth companies, um, they bounce off the lows very aggressively, right? So the next one I want to talk about here is AMD. AMD is, is not breaking out yet, unlike its competitor, NVIDIA, which we talked about in my previous video, NVIDIA is ripping today up over 6%. You guys can see it's about to test 270. And what did I say in my previous video? If it breaks 270, that is where a massive move could come for NVIDIA. And we could blink, open our eyes. It's at 300 bucks like that. So NVIDIA is breaking out, but AMD is not. So I think NVIDIA, or rather AMD, I keep saying both of them, so I'm mixing myself up here. I think AMD will follow NVIDIA suit, or uh, you know, follow suit here. You know what I mean? Um, if NVIDIA starts breaking 270, it starts, it starts showing even more momentum, I think NVIDIA is going to start following because their competitors at the end of the day, their charts look very freaking similar. And let's be honest, they move in the same direction. You know, some some months NVIDIA outperforms AMD. Some months it's the other way around. Overall, I don't even know who's outperforming. It's got to be AMD. I mean, this stock was five bucks um, three years ago. I mean, maybe not three years ago. Four, I'm losing track of time, guys. It's maybe five years ago. When was it when it was a dollar? Yeah, that was well, that was way over five years ago. It was about five. Ten dollars, eight, ten dollars, twelve dollars back in 2018. So it's rallied a good chunk. Well, it seems like Nvidia was what 33 bucks. So either way, they've both. I'm I'm not trying to get into the the nitty gritty of the returns here. You guys get the point. They're kind of correlated, and I think AMD could follow suit. We have to wait and see. So I'm going to put my alert at $117. Let me do that very quickly. That's where we might break the moving averages and the wedge, or, or at least I think that's where we could break out. So I'm putting my alert there. Another one that I'm looking at, two healthcare before we wrap up the video here, guys, two healthcare stocks. j and is down 1% on the day. It is doing what I thought it would. We broke out of 172, ran up to 177, got a bit hot, overbought. Now we're pulling back. I think we're going to see some choppiness. I think we're going to see some choppiness around 172 to 173, which was the resistance. Now it's support. Before it starts making a move back up, I think we do take the highs out, or at least test the highs of at about 180. So I think we'll get some choppiness. Then we might get a breakout to 180. We might break that, and then boom, J and J all time highs. I'm calling it. I mean, have you seen some of these healthcare stocks, guys? Abvi is ripping like no other. We have again J and J starting to push all time highs here. Some of the other ones. Uh, what's the one we're gonna pull up now? UNH United Health just hit an all time high. These stocks are unbelievably bullish. The charts are looking very strong, and I think J and J is gonna hit all time highs. Like I said with. Um, Nvidia and AMD, these stocks kind of move together. They're in the same sector. They um, they go hand. I don't want to say they go hand in hand because each business is different, but their prices kind of move in the uh, same direction overall. You guys know what I mean. So yeah, UNH is breaking out. This is actually very bullish. I mean, it's taking out the wedge. It's above the moving averages. We're getting a golden cross. We just hit all time highs. Who knows where this uh, this leg up out of the wedge could take us? 
it, we're in uncharted territory. Uh, we might be going 525, 530. Who the heck knows? So overall, guys, those are seven stocks that I'm looking at right now. Markets are about to close in three minutes. Let's go back and see if we got that blow-off top rally or if that rally continued here into close. It might. Oh, look at that. Triple Q's up over 2%. And what did I tell you guys? We are rallying into close. We got the little pullback after that huge push into the middle of power hour and now we're getting that breakout into close which is in three minutes from now so what a day guys what a freaking day let me know your thoughts in the comments hit the like button subscribe and join my patreon if you guys want all my buy sales call outs morning videos more access to me throughout the day that's linked down below or you guys can go to stasserfest.com slash patreon and don't forget to also get your free money for moo moo you get one free share of neo guaranteed and up to five other stocks each of which could be valued up to 30 3500 bucks. All you have to do is deposit at least 100 bucks. Again, using my link down below, or you guys can go to stasurfest.com slash moomoo. That's stasurfest.com slash moomoo, M-O-O-M-O-O. And that's how you get the free money. I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. As always, peace out.